Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jayla Corian, YouTube personality, content creator, and soon to be author. So right now, I just got back in my room. I printed out some papers. I was up all night in the library studying for a class and writing a paper. So, yeah, I had to go print that out. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm dressed, I'm ready, because today on campus, it's a big day for design students. So our senior design students at the Fashion Institute of Technology have made their designs and they entered their pieces to be chosen to be in a fashion show. The future of fashion. It's a big show. Uh, big celebrities are there. It's just a, a big show. It's a, it's a big deal to be in. So I'm going to go to judging day. I'm going to meet some of the judges and hopefully I get to show you guys like some of the designs. So let's go. I need to get ready to go. I didn't really know what to wear to this event, so I opted for this A-line type of dress from H&M. And it fits tight. It has some cute details on the back. It's kind of open. I wish I could show you. But, um, yeah, and then I also have on these cute high heels. Luckily, it's warm in New York, so this is a cute little number. I'm now at judging day I'm in this room full of designs and in this area this is the critic award area so all of these designs right here are already going to be in the show which is amazing but the judges are going around right now uh, critiquing the designs and really picking and there's so many designs in here like I would not know how to pick so I got to meet some of the judges and we're just talking and walking around and looking and it's just so amazing I'm really excited so yeah let's go see more designs Amazing. So right now I'm in knitwear and it's all about the knit and coats and fur and look at this one. It's just so amazing. I would so wear all of this stuff. We have some amazing design students. So yeah. Hi, I'm Annie Georgia Greenberg. I am the fashion editor at large of Grade 29 and I'm also a video producer and host for and I am Jayla Crayon, YouTube personality, and I'm here at Judging Day. I'm a student, so I'm getting the behind the scenes for all the students out there. This is my second year judging the show, um, and before that I styled the show for either two or three years. So I've had a pretty long engagement with the FIT show. I just finished judging and you kind of go around and you look at everything and you think about what this would, this outfit would look like as a collection and about the work that went into it. And I'm kind of a softie, especially because I helped style the show. So I know how much um, participating in the show means to students. And um, so, yeah, I said a lot more yeses than no. <laughs> so we have a lot of students that would that are in high school that would love to come to FIT. Do you have any advice for girls that want to become designers and their like dream is to be a part of this? I think it's just um, finding your niche and personality and committing and sticking to it. Differentiate yourself, know what you're talking about. But people always ask me for interview advice because I started, um, I was an intern at Nylon and Vogue and mm -hmm. The Chicago Tribune and um, Admiral Refinery 29 before I started working there full time. And I think uh, the major thing is to have a personality, to differentiate yourself, and to know what you're talking about before you get into an interview. Have some questions that you want to ask. Have um, you know your favorite designers and yeah. your you know not so favorite designers so that you can bring to the table your own unique perspective. And people can tell that you've done your homework. It means a lot. The more educated you are the more confident you'll feel, and then yeah. that confidence comes across, so that's always important. Okay, so how did you get started? What school did you go to, and what did you major in? Yeah, sure, I went to Barnard Uptown, what's up, <laughs> um, and I majored in creative writing, so I it was very different from what I was doing professionally. I was actually a poetry major, but I was always really interested in fashion, and 
going to school in the city, as you know, it yeah. just kind of opens your world. So I was like working every semester of school and um, I think it kind of helped me to differentiate between school and work because work, you know, working in this industry is so intense and going to school is very, yeah. very intense, especially in Manhattan. Um, so the two didn't really have and much to do with each other but being yeah. able to write and think creatively definitely has helped me in my career um, and it makes you a more colorful candidate for a job I think if you can say despite the fact that I want that I am a math major or whatever it is I yeah. have pursued these opportunities um, obviously FIT is kind of a different story because it's so focused and specialized and I think it probably yeah. kind of like Follows you up for those right. those jobs. But I think it's great that you say that no matter what major you are in, that you can still go towards your dream. Totally, it does not matter what you major in, like at all, at all. There's a girl that I work with at Refinery who wanted to be a doctor. I think she was like a neuroscience major, and now she's a video producer. Yeah. I was a poetry major, like thought I was going to go get my MFA, and then I just was working the whole time. It really, really does. Not so guys, this is the lingerie section and lingerie, I think these are my favorite pieces just because they're so like risque. I don't know, I feel like Rihanna would, we just need to send all of this to Rihanna and she would wear it for her concert. So we have this piece right here. Very sheer pieces, this is amazing. I think this is like so Rihanna though. And that's really cute. Someone have a lingerie party so we can like go. And the last row right here is the kids design. So people who are in kids apparel. And this stuff is so freaking cute. So high fashion. This is really cute. That's really cute. Everything's really cute. So as you can see, if you're a judge, this is really hard because you have to pick who's going to be in the fashion show for Future of Fashion here at FIT. And I would be so nervous on this stage just hoping that my design is picked. I heard that, you know, you used to go here. I did used to go here. Okay, and you majored in? Fashion design. Okay, so were you a part of the fashion show at the time? I was part of the fashion show at the okay. time. I, I loved being at FIT. I wanted to come here immediately out of high school and my parents led me to believe that I was going to, and then my mother decided sending a 17-year-old boy to Manhattan in the early 80s was not a good idea. So I went to design school in Seattle for two years okay. and started my education, and I completed my education here for the two-year program, but had the best time being at FIT. Okay, so was the process a little bit similar to this? I think so, you know, it's interesting. I remember when we would do graduation projects that design industry leaders would come in and, and make comments Terry uh, lets you know the strengths of what they were looking at, also um, things that they might have done differently. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, it's very emotional when you have someone from the industry coming in and, and critiquing your work, but it was always such a great experience because you want to hear from those that have had great success, yeah. ideas that you can actually put into play with, with your things that you're designing and creating. So, and now I find I'm doing the same thing with students' work all the time. You know, I'm so fortunate, I, I travel the world. I see 500 fashion shows, probably a year plus. I see 115 fashion shows in New York Fashion Week alone just for one season. So I come across a lot of clothes. I see them not only on the runway, I see them in showrooms. I'm often doing Reseas with designers after a show happening. So my eye is really focused on quality, on design, and I really attribute to my eye being so so good at what it does to the education that I got here at FIT. Because if a seam wasn't straight, you pulled it out and you started all over again. If a yeah. bead wasn't sewn on perfectly, you redid it. And I think that you only learn from from redoing and redoing and, and doing it right the first time. So it's great to see the enthusiasm of design of the students' work here and then how beautifully so many of the pieces are articulated. And it, it's really, it's really exciting. Okay, so in the fashion world, I feel like a lot of people don't know the different avenues you can go in. So you're the fashion director at Neiman Marcus. Tell us, what do you do there? Like, what is a typical day for you? 
you know, I really don't have a typical day uh, <clears throat> because I think in fashion, every, every day is a new journey and a new experience. Uh, my role at Neiman Marcus, I'm, I'm really the fashion ambassador. I'm, I'm the fashion spokesperson as well. I spend a lot of time in the market. I'm in fashion shows and then I'm in showrooms with our buyers, really leading the charge of what Neiman Marcus is going to believe in every season and really ensuring that the clothes that you find hanging in Neiman Marcus stores and that you see on NeimanMarcus.com are the kind of things that have fashion relevance, but they're also the beautiful things that women and men are going to want to wear. You know, many times what we see on a runway isn't always necessarily how the customer wants to dress. The runway is a dream and it's a fantasy. And the customer loves that dream and they love that fantasy. But then we go into the showrooms and with the eye of an editor, with the mind of a retailer, we really decide what's going to be right for our customers. And many times by different regions. You know, if you live in Los Angeles, if you live in Miami, your style might be a little different because of the weather patterns. Yeah. If you live here in the Northeast, or if you live in the Southwest, we dress a little differently. So we're always thinking about who is wearing the clothes that we're loving, and then how are we going to message that when we bring it into the stores? Because you know, fashion is an ever-changing conversation. Yes, it is. And, and certainly, if it's by communicating with interviews, if it's by communicating with traditional media, or on the internet with blogs, you're always telling a story. Mm -hmm. Because the customer needs to know the story of the season, the, the fantasy of the season, the dream that's in a designer's mind. And, and through that communication, we really open the doors of fashion to our customers so they know why they need all the beautiful things we see on the runway. Okay, great. So, um, we have some graduating seniors this year. What advice would you give to them going into the fashion industry? Because it's a cutthroat you know, industry to be in. It is a cutthroat industry, but you know, it's interesting. I think the internet has connected all of us in such an amazing way. And the digital world has opened the fashion conversation more than ever before. I think it's most important for a student that wants to get into the fashion world to understand it's hard work. A lot of people want to be in fashion because they want to be a celebrity, they want to be seen in magazines, they want to have their face all over the internet. And that's a nice part of it, but that's not really what our industry is about. Our right. industry is really about working hard and creating beautiful things, be it fashion, be it accessories, marketing, fashion accessories, to customers that many times don't need anything. We, we are selling them something they really don't need. Right. Customers have closets and closets full of clothes. So the, the, the challenge becomes for all of us, how do we create something that he and she doesn't already own? How do we create an emotional attachment to something that when they see it, they can't live without it? So I, I really encourage students, one, work hard. I think it's so easy sometimes for people to say, oh, that's not my job, or that's not what I want to do. Knowledge is power. The more you know about our industry, the more amazing and powerful you are as an individual. And, and truly, the more important you become to a brand you might be working for or within your own brand. Even if you're the fashion designer, you should know about your business. Know what's selling, what's not selling. Be intimately involved with every aspect of your business or as many of the aspects of the business of a company that you're working for. Because I think that the more you know, better it just makes you and just work hard. You know, I think a lot of times people believe that a young generation doesn't want to put in their time and work hard. Long hours are a good thing. And I think any time that you're learning something more than what you already know, it's a good day. I've been in this industry for over 35, 40 years, and I'm always learning something new. And when I'm learning something new, I feel like it's a day that's it's really worthwhile because you never stop learning. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for My talking My pleasure to me. being with you. Your advice for the students was amazing. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Hey, guys, so I'm here with Nicole. She does PR for Neiman Marcus. So tell me a little bit about like what you do in PR. Um, so it's a range of things that we do. We have corporately driven events and then we as a store have events. So we host different designers. I work with groups in the community, either you know, local hospitals, charity groups, and we um, met, mesh those together and we host events and we do fundraising and bring in great product and great designers to our community. Okay, so we're here at FIT and we're at Judging Day for the Designs. How do you contribute to this? 
this big day. Well, we're students. so excited. This is our first year doing this. Um, I met uh, one of uh, Mindy Gale, who does branding for MIT, and she brought us this great opportunity. I know we've, as a retailer, never been part of this, but we're so excited. And um, following this event, we'll be displaying 25 student garments in our store uh, and throughout the mall. So we're really excited to partner with MIT and bring awareness to youth. Okay, so what advice would you give someone who wants to go into PR? And PR is public relations. So what it like what would you tell somebody that wants to get their foot in the door? I think just getting your first job is the first step and it's like sometimes the hardest step and that's interning and working hard and it's not glitz and glamour, believe me, I am running around on my hands and knees doing last minute setups, so you really have to be in there. 100% doing everything you possibly can, either if it's in front of the camera or behind the camera. So, it's so hard definitely work. not easy work. It is not easy, and I generally wear flats, not my heels. So okay, I've yeah, done she has <laughs> this beautiful outfit on today. But I, I generally have flats, so okay. <laughs> we're on our hands and knees doing last minute prep, so you have okay. to be getting down and dirty to be in PR for sure. And what school did you attend and what did you major in? I actually went to Boston College, okay. and I was in marketing and business, and I didn't know if I, which route I was going to go, but I stayed in the PR and marketing route, not the business side, the creative side, so I'm really excited. I love my job every day, so <laughs> that's the most important thing when you get your, when you start working and still love what you do. Love what you do. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much. It was me. great meeting you. Hey guys, Jalen here. So tell us. What you actually do? Um, so I do two things. I am a contributor for the Today Show, where I cover lifestyle topics, but a lot of fashion. And I also run a blog called The LV Guide, okay. um, where I share kind of things that inspire me, whether it's fashion or food or interior design. Okay, so what advice would you give somebody that wants to be in the industry, in the fashion industry, mm -hmm. and they don't really know what they want to do? Um, I would say that it's really important to be true to what your interests are. I know for me, um, I've always had a love for communication and media. So for me, it was about figuring out a way to blend television and fashion together. And I don't know that my particular role at the Today Show existed even five years ago. So don't be afraid to carve your own path and make your own way. Just because a role doesn't exist currently doesn't mean that you can't be the person to start that. Um, and the one thing you really need to do that is a very distinct point of view. Um, so there's a million people that can do my job, but nobody can do it like me because what I do is I bring together accessibility and affordability with fashion. So everything that I do, it's through that lens. Um, you know, it's really easy to style a shoot when you don't have a budget. It's really easy to pull clothes and dress a model that is five foot eleven and a size two. It's not so easy when your budget is a hundred dollars and your model is a size fourteen and a real woman with a real life and real issues like we all have. And so for me, I wanted to do that, and there weren't a lot of people willing to do that. It's really hard to do that, and to be able to do that well is the reason that I'm able to have the career and the jobs and the opportunities that I have now. So guys, I'm just now leaving from Judging Day, and um, it was amazing. Got to talk to a lot. Of of amazing people and now we're just walking on 27th street about to take some pictures and i have class later on so i'll definitely be changing out of my shoes and heading to class after this hey guys i'm back it's the day of the future fashion fashion show it starts at 7 p.m i need to get there a little bit early so i can see who's there and see if we can talk to some people however I have two class presentations right at the same time. So, welcome to the fashion industry where you have so much to do, you're one person, but you have to make it work. So I'm going to be running around in my heels like a crazy person, going to a presentation, going to the fashion show, going to another presentation, coming back to the fashion show. That's okay, we live for this hectic lifestyle. So I'm about to go to my first presentation. I'll head over to the red carpet to see who I can catch, go to class, and then I'll be back for the show. So I'm really excited to attend the show. Let's go. So guys, we're here at the Future of Fashion fashion show. This is before it fills up with a lot of people. As you can see, the FIT runway. I'm so excited to see the designs. You guys know I showed you Judging Day and those designs. So we're really excited to see what made the cut and all the students. And it's just really exciting. So 
guys, I have one presentation down, going to the next one. I just left the red carpet and I have to be back by seven. So fingers crossed I can make it back by seven. The thing I say to myself still to this day is treat every day like it's your first day. Because I think when you're at school, the world is full of possibilities, you know, there's, and, and, and you're encouraged to think that way. Just, just keep that excitement and creativity, that's number one. For students just entering into the industry, it's a whole new world for them. It's a whole new world for everyone. And I think when the change does come, it's going to be from someone that's just coming out of school who sort of has been watching it and saying, if we know this is wrong, why do we continue to do it this way?